Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail. Long time no see. It's been ages since I've done a YouTube video, but it's time for my fourth annual 12 Projects of Christmas. It's December 1st and I've got to get this up. I've got about an hour. I've been sick, so I'm running a little bit behind on getting these going, but I wanted to get this one up right away because it is a countdown calendar. This is a, a countdown, advent, whatever you want to call them, type of little calendar that is made using one of the new portfolio albums from Graphic 45. Now this is one of the 8x8s. This one was done with a 12x12. 12 12. I'm plumb out of the 12x12s. 12 I've used them all up because they're so cool. So this is, um, I don't have a blank one to show you, but they come in to where they create their own easel and they come with heavy cardstock pages on them. And what I did with this one is I divided it in to nine sections across that 12 inch width and on each of the pages I cut them into those nine sections. So on the first page they're full length. On the second page I cut them two inches shorter across and removed the two end pieces because as you can see these are singles. On the third page, which just has five strips on it, I cut them up another two inches or four inches from the bottom. On the fourth page, I cut it six inches from the bottom and I only left three strips. The last one I cut up eight inches from the bottom and it has a single strip. So when you start out with this, you're gonna have all sorts of the layers flipped over to the back. Let me set this back so you can see a little better. And then I just have some strips of paper so it's they're as if they're ornaments hanging down. And I started down at the bottom here in the center with my number one. These are an inch and a quarter circles. And then I've got some stickers on there that are countdown stickers. There's a number of manufacturers that have those. These happen to be from Kaiser Craft. I also use some um, jute twine and some baker's twine to add some little bows to them on each of the little strips after I cut them to the length I wanted I punch them with one of punch the corners with one of the chompers this happens to be the purple one the scallop my favorite and then I added some cream cardstock between or behind each of the strips to kind of give it a scallop tree effect and that's using the eyelet lace Martha Stewart punch and I just have that little bit um, sticking out from back behind each of the strips, but these pieces then can all flip over from the back side as you're counting down. No treats, things like that. So, but it sure makes for a fun countdown album um, up to the very end. You can actually add a star up at the top if you want it, want to, but I wanted to keep it just super simple. So a quick tip on dividing this into nine sections. For instance, if this is a 12 inch wide and I wanted to divide it into nine sections, you don't have to do a lot of math. All you can do need to do is lay your ruler across the width. It's a little narrower than the 12 inches, but lay it across the width and figure every um, inch and a quarter is going to give you those nine equal sections so you can mark it a little bit at an angle. For instance, if I wanted to do the same thing on this smaller one, I'd set zero at this edge and nine inches at this edge, and then I'd make a tick mark at each one of those inches. So I don't have to sit there and figure out the math of, okay, is that one and seven eighths? Super quick and easy way to divide those pages up. But again, this is the eight inch and this is the, the 12 inch, but you do it in the same fashion. And as I said, each tier, comes up two inches and so um, as the days go on so for instance today it would just have that number one on there because it's December 1st can you believe it and then each subsequent day until you get to the 25th and then you have a cute little kind of shabby looking Christmas tree um, tons of fun easy to do super fast so just pick up one of these nifty easel albums and trim it up into your sections shorten them up and uh, punch a few circles, add a few little ribbons, a few little details, and boom, you've got a cute little countdown album tree. So 
another day or two, I'll be putting up the second day of Christmas until um, we have all 12 projects. It's great to be back on YouTube, and we'll see you soon. Thanks a bunch.